Hi everyone, Tom White with Ready Real Estate. Here today to speak to those of you who are renting, but you would really rather be a homeowner, but you think you can't afford it. I'm gonna tell you that you probably can. So according to apartments.com, in September of 2020, right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, an average two bedroom apartment in Fort Worth was $1,050. That same apartment in Dallas, $1,439. A three bedroom in Dallas, a whopping $3,969 for an average apartment. So instead of talking about that $4,000 apartment or any of the other ones, we're gonna round the math down to a mythical $1,000 apartment that's both nice, safe, uh, and conveniently located to work. Guys, that's $12,000 a year that's out of your pocket each and every year. Over the course of 10 years, that's $120,000 that's just gone out of your potential wealth forever. You'll never see it again. But wait, it gets worse. You also lose out on a monthly tax benefit. Own, you retain about $300 per month in tax benefits. Rent, you're throwing that extra $300 away each and every month. Over the course of a year, about $3,600. That 10-year renter, $36,000 in lost tax benefits add to that $120,000 that's just gone straight out of your pocket. Now, 10 years ago, a three-bedroom home that I was selling right here in the Fort Worth area for $120,000, that same style of home size and amenity level goes for roughly double or $240,000. Guys, that's $140,000 in equity that you've kept in your personal wealth. Plus, you've got the $36,000 roughly in tax benefits over that 10-year time period. Plus, pride of ownership, more privacy, more space, and most importantly, more freedom, and we all love that, right? So the big question is, can I afford a home? So last week, when I was looking at the numbers here, the average was 3.6%, and of course, it fluctuates every day. The low was about 2.5%, the high was about 3.5%. At 3.6% interest, a $210,000 home will cost you $1,600 a month. So that's your principal and interest, the interest of which is tax deductible, your monthly property taxes, also tax deductible, your insurance, your homeowners association, and your mortgage insurance. Guys, the mortgage insurance amount, that goes away after 20% equity is achieved. So how do we do the math here? How do we close up the distance between that $1,600 that this home will cost you and the $1,000 for our nice mythical apartment? It comes back to that $300. Retaining that $300 lowers your monthly operating costs, so we bump that down to $1,300. Losing that $300 adds to your monthly costs, so we increase that $1,000 apartment to $1,300. We meet in the middle at $1,300. $1,300 to own or $1,300 to rent. It gets pretty self-explanatory here now, doesn't it? So rent continues to go up. Home values continue to go up. So you know where you need to be. But the question is, what are you going to do? Here's what I hope you do. If you will follow this six-step prescription, and don't think this is an oversimplification because guys, I've literally helped hundreds and hundreds of first-time home buyers achieve home ownership using this formula. Step one, call me today. If not today, then shortly thereafter. Step number two, talk to one of our lenders. Step three, we'll go out and we'll find you a home that works for you. Step four, we submit an offer to make sure you get the strongest value possible. Step five, you continue to work with your closer. And step six, we go to closing, we sit down, you sign a bunch of paperwork, and you walk away with keys in your hand. Congratulations, you now own a home and you're out of the rent race. So if you like the idea of that, please reach out, give me a call with the information that I'll include in the video here today, and I look forward to working with you. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a good day.